Hello everyone, my name is Harish and uh, today I will be showing you how to create a self-signed certificate. Uh, this self-signed certificate can be used to create uh, SSL based HTTPS uh, APIs. Uh, so I will be using XCA, it's a tool uh, which is freely available and uh, it's uh, available for Mac and for Windows both. So this is the tool, it looks like this and uh, I will be showing you the full way how to create a uh, certificate, how to create a key and how to export it into different formats. And then in my next blog, I will be showing you how you can use this certificate to create a HTTPS API in Mule ESP. Uh, you can use this certificate anywhere else also, uh, it's up to you, but I will be showing you in how to use it in Mule. So what we have to do firstly is uh, once you open this uh, tool, uh, first you have to create a database. So let's create a new database. So this database will store your uh, um, certificate and keys. So let's name it uh, my certificate DB and let's store it. Uh, let's store it on desktop. So basically it's uh, just a XDB file. Um, we just create it and you can give any key password here. Uh, let's give it one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Let's hit okay. So once your set <coughs> uh, DB is created here, uh, you can start creating new certificates or new signing request. So all these things you can do with this tool. So let's start directly creating a new certificate. Uh, you can create a key first and then use that key into certificate or you can just directly start creating a new certificate and then inside that you can create a key also. So let's create a new certificate. So here are the fields where you can give source, subject, extensions, key usage net, and advanced. So I will show you what all these things are. <coughs> So first of all, let's create a self-signed certificate and this is a serial version. If you don't give anything, by default it will take one. Uh, it can be any alphanumeric key uh, like one, two, three, D, D, something. You can give whatever you want. So you can give all these things here. And so it can be any key. And then here is the algorithm. So you can use SHA-256, SHA-1, it depends on what kind of uh, encryption algorithm you want to use. So let's select SHA-256. Then here you select what you want to do with. You want to create a CA, you want to create a uh, server or you want to create one HTTPS client. So let's select this HTTP server because we want to create HTTPS server. And then let's go to subject field. And then here internal name, this is the local alias, which will become an alias for your certificate. Let's give it local server. Then country name, you can give anything. Let's give it IN for India. Then you can give state as uh, whatever you want. Let's give it Delhi or uh, locality. You can give, you can give anything. It doesn't uh, matter. It can, uh, <clears throat> it's just for your uh, certificate to verification. And then organization name, maybe let's give it uh, HKS um, systems. And then organization OU unit, uh, this is your organizational unit name, which is also called OU name, uh, which you can give as IT department. And then common name, you can give anything what you want. And then email address also, let's give it local server. And then email address if you have something, then you can add it here. So here is the key. Uh, currently, as you see, we, I don't have any key here. So I'm going to generate a new key and I'm going to name it local server key. Okay, local server key. And I'm going to use this RSA2048 bit. And then I'll hit create. So it will create one key. I'm going to use this and then I'm going to go to extensions. 
so i will check this too it which uh, so that it can it's uh, the certificate can be recognized as authority key identifier and subject key identifier and uh, you don't have to do all these select these two you if you want you can make it certification authority also so your uh, certificate will be as a server and also as a ca and then here is the time frame so you can if you want you can give it for three years then don't forget to click apply otherwise it will be default one year here then i put this and it becomes for three years now this is the most important thing it's the alternative names let's edit it and let's add here you can select either you want uri email rid dns or ip or other name so let me put one dns and let's put localhost and then add if you want uh, some ip address maybe 127.0.0.1 for local host and uh, if you want you can have some other dns also maybe you can give uh, your company url like uh, mm, uh, what can be my company url so i can give uh, something like star and then i can give dot uh, maybe dot api dot localhost dot star so you can have a wildcard characters like this and you can give anything here in the dns and then you can do apply so there is something wrong it says okay let me see what is wrong very good um, okay invalid null value error dns something i didn't do okay Ah, okay so I I didn't do properly here I had to star dot okay local API star so anything with local API it can be applied here let's hit apply okay something is wrong my API local star let's put Add and read then validate its validation successful. Let's add. Ah, uh, I don't know what I'm adding. So apply. So it is uh, proper here. So local host 127.0.0.1 and API local. So these are the alternative names I have added you can add a issuer alternative name uh, like for my ca uh, if you want you can add them otherwise uh, you can leave them as it is and then key usage you don't have to select anything here you can leave all these things uh, like this and here you can see your certificate how it will look like it will look like this and api local and ip address and then you can hit uh, you can let's double check everything again and then you can hit okay so your certificate is created so here you can see your uh, local server certificate is created it's uh, this is the alias because the common name then it's a ca yes because i selected is ca this is the key and expiry date and all those details are there and then one after creating it you can hit import uh, sorry uh, my mistake you can hit export and you can export it into different uh, formats there here are the form you can get a pem with certificate chain trusted certificate and various keys are there so what i'm going to do i'm going to export it as uh, pkcs12 and i'm going to save it on desktop and let's hit save and after that it's going to ask you for the password let's give it local p local password local password and let's hit ok so once we are done you can see here that local server dot certificate is created and uh, we are going to use this certificate uh, into our uh, 
next tutorial in mules uh, and I will be creating a HTTPS API with this thank you for watching I hope I was able to clear how you can use this tool to create a certificate with a GUI I'll see you in next blog thank you